Yeah, everybody, it was a uh, cloudy day here all day. Complete overcast, dark outside like it is right now. Rain, 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 rain. And um, we did good. Our, our solar system did good. Now, I will admit on this, I am not running an air conditioner right now. Um, I haven't needed to. There's some times that if we don't have a breeze, it starts feeling um, a little muggy. But if you just have some air moving, it's really manageable. We have a really great cross flow here where we're at right now. So that's why I went and bought me a little fan here. Uh, we've got those ceiling fans. I said, you know what? This only burns 60 watts. That's the same thing those fans on the ceiling do. And at least this, I can keep it just focused in a direction where those up on the ceiling up here, they wiggle around and around and around slow. And you're like, hurry and come back, hurry and come back, hurry and come back. Um, they're not bad with an air conditioner going and you run those on low because they keep the air stirred in the room. But if you're depending on those right there for cooling, they are, uh, <laughs> they're cooling you just as it passes by. And so I went and got this little tough mama fan today. Yeah. And uh, I said, man, that's what I need right there. But speaking of that, I just want to talk about power here real quick. Uh, during the daytime, definitely, definitely, definitely do we make enough power to run an air conditioner of a not large size um, and it needs to probably be the new digital inverter style just like our refrigerator is man it doesn't hardly pull nothing that refrigerator is rated like 140 watts and a peak and defrost mode at 190 watts and that's not bad at all um, but you get into a lot of these air conditioners they're 2000 watts 3000 watts 4000 watts and um, we did look at a tiny little window unit and it was like 600 something watts. Well, we could pull any of those during the day without a doubt, without a doubt, all day long. But at night, this comes around to your storage capacity. And uh, I, I didn't plan this when I started this system over here, uh, worrying about air conditioners at the time. It just um, wasn't my main thoughts at the time and um, and I calculate out what you need to carry for storage of power and to carry an air conditioner all the way through the night um, and, and real hot season and I said um it's gonna get pretty pricey buying just an enormous battery bank to carry that uh, because we're in a hot climate and it's going to run quite a bit. It ain't going to be a bunch of cycling. That thing is going to be running, trying to keep up. I'm just telling you the facts. It's going to be running. This is a hot climate. Then the next thing is uh, at nighttime with these concrete walls, heat transfers and radiates out to the inside if those walls have had direct sunlight. Like this wall right here it will be warm to the touch and we can feel that heat come in here at night and start radiating okay well um, there's ways to work around that here but at the time for this garage it was meant as a garage not as a house it will go back to being a garage again and this didn't have pre-planning in the garage to have it to be air-conditioned that's just a thin quarter inch plywood wall in the front with, made out of two by twos. It's a temporary wall. That thing is not airtight seal. That's not made for air conditioning. This garage door opening right here, you can see where it is. That's just all stuck there temporary. That is just thin plywood on one side and I did use some of my thick plywood on the other side on that wall. Um, but as well, these things weren't meant to be sealed for air conditioning. This was a garage. And it's the same thing for my door right here. Now, when we're building a house side over there, we are planning for air conditioning. And we are planning to run it off the solar. Um, and with that being said, 
I will tell you how we're going to run that. And instead of this place always maybe being off grid, it may have to be a borrow power when we need to from the grid. So these inverters, they they are not grid tie for net metering. That net metering is when you're putting power back out there and a power company has to um, pay you if you're set up correctly with them and abiding by the rules and laws and UL list equipment and blah, 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 blah. Um, these are a grid tie as far as they will borrow, or they will take power. They don't borrow, you gotta pay for it. They will get power from the grid when needed if your battery bank and your solar is not providing ample power for the load being pulled at the time. So you can hook the grid into the bottom of it there and it has a charger built into this unit that will take the grid power, charge your batteries, and then you can use that power from your batteries to run whatever it is you're trying to run and keep up with like an air conditioner. So let's say like I said, we're making all the power we need during the daytime to run an air conditioner, one even sizable. I mean, we have a surplus of energy going on during the day. So that's not a problem then. We could probably run until way into the hours uh, running the air conditioner off the battery bank. But then, but then what if it's not quite enough? You know, we don't want to lose power during the night and have to wait till mid morning until uh, solar's brought us back up enough. So that's where you having that grid connected and having like a grid backup can come in handy if you're trying to run an air conditioning system and you're just trying to save money. And here in this country, it's not so much like back home in Texas that Back home in Texas, even if I don't use any of their stinking electricity, I still get a pretty good bill because, man, they are charging me all these charges and this base charge and this Encore delivery fee and this fee and that fee and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, you still got a $40, $50 bill and you look down there on your usage and it's like, did I use anything? What's all of that? But here in this country... Um, my base bill, if I don't use anything, it might be two dollars, you know, two, three bucks for those base charges. So, uh, that's not bad to have that as a reserve out there in case you need some power from the grid because you are wanting to run an air conditioner or something. And then, what's the worst case? Well, you're not needing to use their power during the day because you're making ample power. And you've already made it through most of the night off your stored power. So the worst case is in the middle of the morning hours. Uh, you got to borrow a little bit of electricity and the sun's not out and the unit's not having to work that hard as far as I'm talking about your air conditioner. And so you only use a little bit of their power. And that means you only had a little bill. So that's pretty good. Of course, I can always do the generator backup like I have. That's the other option that's already made on these units is the generator option. Uh, and I have it here. Who wants to hear a generator fire up at 3 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m. in the morning, brrr, there's a generator going. Yeah, you can try to make it quiet, but womp womp, we know you're gonna wake you up at that time of the morning. So um, we're really considering here at this situation, at this house, to keep power as a secondary source, not a primary source, as a secondary source from the grid. And I just want to share that to you guys that ask about, will it carry an air conditioner? Will it carry an air conditioner? Well, when you start talking about putting heavy load appliances like that, it's a different game. All right, well, that's all I want to share to you right now. And I hope all of you are having a blessed day and you've had a great, wonderful day. And subscribers, man, subscribers, y'all just keep on popping up on me lately. More of you, welcome to the madness. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, if you got any questions, say them. If you got an opinion, say it. Uh, that, you know, just be kind. That's all I ask. Just be kind, be considerate, and don't be rude. But criticism is welcome. It is. Criticism is welcome. Um, man, I've learned several things 
from my subscribers and uh, and I've also taught them things and this is a two-way street here on this channel this isn't about just James sharing out of his head this is also James absorbing back in from you guys well I appreciate all of you and I'm gonna just chill out Melinda's over with the family right now it's a quiet rainy evening mm, I just love listening to that rain come down so you all take care thanks again